Hello, my dear friends, I'm Corey, and in this video we'll show you how to paint a Primaris Space Marine Chaplain. Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to this new video of the How to Paint Specialist Marine series. And in today's video, I'm going to paint one of my favorite type of Specialist Marine, which are Chaplain. Chaplains are those Space Marine, or Primaris Space Marine if you prefer, that inspired their battle brother during wars and battles by chanting litanies. They are the most fanatic and devoted Space Marine of the chapter. Like all the other Specialist Marines, Chaplains have always the same color for their power armor, generally speaking, which is black. And in this video I want to show you exactly that, how to paint Chaplin's power armor, which it's a pretty cool power armor in my opinion. I like Chaplin's as heroes, as characters, and I really like to paint them. Also keep in mind that this specific tutorial can also be used if you want to paint Black Templars or Chaos Undivided Chaos Space Marines, which is basically black with gold trims and stuff like this or even Raven Guard, because technically speaking they also have black power armor, but I'm digress. Let's go to the hobby table so that I can show you how to paint a Chaplain Primaris Space Marine. The first thing that you have to do is to prime the model. Chaplains have a predominantly black power armor with a lot of gold and metal details, so in order to speed up the paint process, I've primed this model with a matte black primer but you could also prime it in grey or white and paint the armor right after that. I've also subassembled it by keeping the backpack of the marine separated from the main body of the model. This way it will be much simpler to paint the back details. The next step is to dry brush the entire model. By using a soft makeup brush I've applied a grey color on the miniature. By doing so you could save countless hours of hedge highlighting the power armor it would be really boring and frustrating after a while. Now it's time to paint all the base color of the model. Remember to thin your paint with some water in order to avoid any brush marks and have a much smoother end result. I decided to start from the skin tones. The reason is simple. When painting is always a good idea to start from the inner parts of the model and work your way to the surface. This way it's much easier to paint every part of the model and you won't have a hard time if you need to correct any mistakes. The hardest parts to base coat are the robes and the purity seals. The reason is that these are colored in a very bright ivory that almost look like white, so when painted on a black surface, due to the transparency of acrylic paints, you'll still see the black primer underneath. But don't worry, after the paint dry, just keep painting more thin layers of it. Remember to be patient. The main characteristic of Space Marine Chaplains are the, sometimes real and sometimes carved, bones on their power armor. In this case, this Chaplain has a rib cage in the lower part of the armor, and a skull has an ornament on the backpack. I generally paint bones by coating them with a light brown or beige color. But if you can't be bothered to paint skulls and bones, you could paint them in gold, which is another very common color that you can usually see on Chaplains. Another common thing found on chaplains are books. This is where all the chaplains' litanies are written. Nothing too complicated to paint. I decided to use a light brown color, but you could use whatever color you think looks good. With the same color, I painted the handle of the Crozius Arcanum, the big stick on the chaplain's right hand. That thing. The last things that I had to base coat before painting the metallic bits of the model are the bolt pistol and the flat part of the shoulder pads. The chaplain's bolt pistol, called Absolvor, is generally painted in a bright red color. As for the shoulder pads color, it depends on what Space Marine chapter you choose. In any case, my custom chapter has crimson red shoulder pads. Now the metallic. The primary metallic color on a chaplain is gold. The gold parts are commonly the eagle on the center of the chest, the trims around the armor, the crozium arcanum, and if you want, all the skull ornaments sculpted on the marine's armor. The other metallic parts are the silver trinket strapped on the belt of the marine, the steel parts of the bolt pistol, and the two exhaust pipes on the backpack. I start to focus on the details, and if there are any kind of purity seals on the model, I always start with those. 
if you're wondering how are you supposed to write words in such a tiny space, the good news is that you don't have to. Just squiggle some random lines here and there on all the purity seals and I assure you that nobody is going to notice. Tiny details like this are going to blend with the model and are barely noticeable. You might also want to hand highlight some part of the model, like the gun or the book. Just mix a little bit of white paint with the original base coat color and use that to paint thin lines on the edges of the model to simulate light and accentuate the details. Now let's wash the model. When washing, I like to thin down my washes to a rate of 50% wash to a 50% water, more or less. This way the paint will act almost like a glaze, darkening down the crevices of the mini and at the same time blending all the hedge highlighting you have previously painted. But of course, in order to obtain a more realistic effect on the model, we'll have to layer and hedge highlight again some part of the model. Don't worry, it's a pretty simple process. I'm going to layer three key parts of the Space Marine. The face, the bones and the metallic. The process it's the same for all of them. I'll take the original card that I've used for the base coat and heavily thin it. Now, slowly but surely, I apply thin layers of paint to accentuate the details by bringing up the tones of the model. Then I do the same thing again, but this time I mix a little bit of white paint to the color. I only paint the sharpest details of the model. Especially if used on the face, since the head is the part of the model that mostly draws the attention of the viewer. Almost done. Just two more things. First, the decals. To apply them, simply paint a coat of gloss varnish when you want to place them, and wait for it to dry. Then submerge the decals in some water and place it onto the model. Once it dries, paint a second layer of gloss varnish onto the part. And now the base. This is a personal choice, but what I like to do is to use texture paint. These are a special kind of paints that, when completely dry, resemble the texture and form of the ground. I also apply a coat of dark wash, dry brush it and sprinkle some static grass and small rock onto it, glowing them with some wood glue. And here's the chaplain, painted and ready to fight. I suggest you to spray a coat of matte or satin varnish over the entire model to protect the paint job. Thank you very much my friends, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it would be useful to you. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments and also leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and other type of videos in the future regarding our beautiful hobby, specifically Warhammer 40k and Age of Sigmar, uh, but generally painting miniatures. Also if you want, down in the description there are a couple of links, one for my Instagram and the other one is for my Patreon. If you want to support me, you don't have to do that, but if you will support me, I would be extremely grateful to you. So my friend, this is the end of the video. I'm Corey and I hope to see you the next time. Ciao ciao!